The Turkish president arrives on stage with a message to deliver, that his government will do its best to support the young people listening in the crowd and to praise them for their contributions so far. There is a strong will here that does not collapse in the face of difficulties. There are hearts that love to succeed despite all kinds of obstacles. There are young people here who do not recognize any obstacles on the way to dreams. There is a Turkish nation that is breaking the centuries-old chains that have been struck on its feet here. 121 institutions, companies and educational establishments are taking part in Technofest. The president hopes these displays of the latest military equipment, drones and aircraft, plus shows of technological advances, will make today's students the scientists and engineers of the future. The emphasis here at Technofest really is on young people. You can see them everywhere in the crowds, but for some of their participants, their history really does go back a long way. Sars Ilmaz is the oldest Turkish company at Technofest. It started out repairing flintlock rifles in 1880 during the Ottoman Empire. It now exports guns and rifles to 82 countries around the world and makes what is known as the national pistol, used by the Turkish police and military. We need more engineers, we need more people and we give them a focus uh, on all these products so that they can uh, build up their future with this perspective. This is, this is a good chance uh, to be all together around these products. It's now developing a new generation of firearms technology that are fully integrated onto vehicles such as aircraft using software. But for this company and Technofest as a whole, new generations are not just about technology, but also about the people about to come of age in Turkey. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Izmir.